We've already looked at long division when we're dividing by a small number, by a one-digit number. Today we're going to look at dividing by a two-digit number, but we will keep it fairly simple. We're going to be dividing by 12. So before we even start dividing, what we're going to do is write down our 12 times table. Let's write down our 12 times table. So we'll just do that at the side so that we've got all the possible answers that we might need. We only need to go up to nine times whatever our number is, but we'll work out the, um, the 10 times as well, just to check that the, um, the pattern we've got here is right. So one way of thinking about this is simply to just add on 12 to the previous number. So we've got 12, 24, 36, and then four 12s. We could either double 24 or just add 12 onto 36. So we've got 48. 12 times 5, or 5 times 12, that's going to be 48 plus 12, and 12 times 6, 6 times 12. We could double 3 times 12, couldn't we? Or just add 12 onto 60, which is probably easier. So that's 72. And then 7 times 12, another 12 added on is 84. Oh, we've lost a bit of the 8 there. And 8 times 12, well, we could add on 12, or we could double 4 times 12. It's a good idea to just check. So I'm here checking that 84 plus 12 is 96, and also 2 times 48 is going to give us 96. It, it helps check that getting the right answers. Of course, you might know your 12 times table really well. And then 9 times 12, adding another 12 on is 108, or we could multiply 3 times 12 by 3. 3 times 36 is 108. And then as a check, I would just work out that when I add another 12 on to the 108, I do get 1, 2, 0. So that's um, 12 with 0 at the end, or obviously 120, and that's all good. Right, so we've got our 12 times table all written out, so we're ready to divide by 12. I know that some of you, some of you want to learn the long division, some of you short division, so we'll do both of those. And we'll also look at what happens when we've got a remainder, so when we end up with a decimal or a fraction, and how to kind of work that out. So here, obviously, we're assuming you haven't got a calculator to do this calculation. Because if you did have, you just use a calculator, wouldn't you? Right, okay, so let's divide, um, we'll keep it relatively simple. Let's take um, 513 and work out what 513 divided by 12 is. So we're already in that we've multiplied 12 by the numbers from 1 to 9, so that's going to help us do our division. So I would write this out like this. So I would put the 513 inside here and the 12 outside. So what I'm doing first of all is I'm thinking, does 12 go into 5? And it doesn't, because 12 is bigger than 5, isn't it? Then I'm thinking, does 12 go into 51? So I'm moving one further along my uh, my number there. So the 5, 1, 3 doesn't go into 5, but 12 does go into 51. And then looking at my times table, I can see that 4 times 12 is 48. So that gives me the answer of 4, which I need to remember to put above the 1 and not above the 5, because it's the 48 that 12 goes into. It doesn't go into 5, does it? So it goes into 48. So I now multiply 4 by 12 and write the answer underneath the 51. And then I subtract 48 from 51. So that's going to be 3, isn't it? And then I bring down this number here, so that I'm now looking to see how many times 12 goes into 33. So looking at my times table, I can see two 12s are 24, whereas three 12s are 36. 36 is too big, so it goes in twice. So two goes above the three, and then I multiply that two by the 12 and put the answer underneath the 33. So I get 24. And then as before, I'll do a subtraction. So 33 minus 24 is going to be 9. So what I know now is that, um, we'll write it down here and then get rid of it, because we want to really keep going with this calculation. But so far, what we found is that 513 divided by 12 is 42, and it has a remainder of 9. And what that means is that we've got 42 and 9 divided by the number we're dividing by, so that's 12. 
So that's equal to 42. And well, 9 twelfths cancels down to 3 quarters. So if we wanted the answer to have a fraction in it, we're done. And obviously, I hope you know 3 quarters is 0.75, so you could write that down as a decimal. But what we want to do is now use the calculation, the, the long division, to work out what the decimal numbers are, because you may not get a, an example that's as simple as this one. So let's just uh, remove this bit of working out. Right, so let's put that to one side. So let's now continue our calculation. It's almost as if we haven't got anything left to divide the 12 into, have we? But remember that the number 513 is really 513.00000 and so on. So we can just write that down. So I'm just extending the, the number to write down some more digits in our number. So let's just write a decimal point and a zero. And now we can keep going with what we were doing before. So earlier on we brought the three down after we've got the, the three to make the 33. So now we're going to bring that zero down, so the next digit in the number. And we're now dividing 12 into 90. And we need to remember actually to put the decimal point on the top as well. So we know the answer is going to be 42 point something or other. So we're dividing 12 into 90 and we've got 8 twelves and 96, that's too big, so 7 twelves are 84, aren't they? So we're going to have a 7 above that 0, and then multiply the 7 by 12 to get 84, and then subtract the 84 from the 90 to get 6. And again, we've got a remainder, so we need to put another 0 in here, and bring that 0 down. So then we've got 60 here. And now when we look at our table, we can see that 5 twelves are exactly 60. So we're going to put a 5 up here, put 60 down here. And when we do our subtraction, which is going to drop off the bottom of the page, unfortunately, we get 0. So we know we're done. We know the answer, as actually we found before. We know that 513 divided by 12 is equal to 42.75. So with this method, it's called long division because it goes a long way down the page. We could do the same sort of calculation that would have the same numbers, but we can write it out in a much shorter way. So let's have a look at how that will work. So we start off in exactly the same way as before. So we're going to be dividing 12 into 513. And we start off by saying 12 doesn't go into 5, but it does go into 51. And it goes into 51. In fact, you could actually, we're using the short method, put the little 5 just in front of the 1 there. So we're always uh, bringing the, uh, the digits up. So we've got um, 12 into 51, and that goes 4 times. So we put the number above, the number 4 above the 1. And then in our heads, we work out that 4 times 12 is 48. We subtract that from the 51, and the remainder we write just in front of the next number. So we've got 33 to divide into this time. And as before, 2 twelves, 24. So that goes there. And as before, we put the decimals in here, if that's what we want to do, rather than getting our um, fractions. And then our remainder was 33 minus 24. So that's going to give us a 9. And then 12s into 90 goes 7 times because 7 twelves are 84. 90 take away 84 is 6. So we get all the same numbers as before, but instead of the write, writing them down the page, they are just written as a little um, like superscripts. So 12s into 60 goes exactly five times, and there is our answer. 12 into 513 is 42.75, done by short division this time. And of course, if you wanted to check your answer, you could multiply 42 by you can multiply 42.75 by 12 and it should come out to be exactly 513.